Hey guys, in uh, today's video, I will show you how to uh, install the um, Unify uh, controller on uh, Ubuntu uh, Ubuntu uh, 18.04. Uh, um, but this one, we're gonna do it in the virtual machine on the FreeNAS. So if you do not have a um, virtual machine on your FreeNAS, uh, and you just install it uh, on uh, Ubuntu, it should work the same. Uh, if you want to have uh, Ubuntu um, as a virtual machine on your free net, check out um, one of my videos. Uh, I'll, I'll have it in the description, so you have to do that. Alright, I'm going to go to a virtual machine. Right now, uh, my uh, Ubuntu uh, 18, uh, 18 4.0 0.04 uh, LTS version actually running so let's connect to it <coughs> all right have a box in. I'm gonna go on open up uh, Firefox by the way all the links uh, for the uh, this tutorial gonna be included in the description now we're gonna look for a Unify controller Ubuntu. Not sure that's the way to say it, but I'm stick with it for now. Uh, correct me if I pronounce it wrong. <laughs> and uh, the first one right here. So Unify actually uh, make a tutorial to show us how to uh, install it on the. Uh, <coughs> Ubuntu, Ubuntu, especially for the version uh, 18404 uh, which is gonna follow up with uh, this guy right here alright so first step we, uh, we're gonna copy uh, this command right here and open up terminal if you don't have a terminal added to your favorite, uh, it actually located here, and you can uh, search it up for a terminal. <coughs> there you go. And I'm just gonna paste uh, the command in there and enter. It's gonna ask for your um, <coughs> password. Since so this is a uh, Super user do a uh, command. There you go, so the, it added. Alright, next step. Step number two add the GB uh, G key. So that's two methods uh, that you can do it. Uh, we're just gonna go with the first one for now. Copy this one. Paste it and enter. All right, good to go. Step number three. We're gonna do a uh, apps update and enter. Alright, so step number four, uh, if you see right here, it says for uh, Ubuntu 18.04, uh, uh, you need to run this command before uh, step number four. So Ubuntu actually uh, have one dependency that uh, it called, I'm not sure how you use now, this uh, Mongo uh, DB. So this one have to um, be installed on your operating system before um, you can install a Unify controller on it. <coughs> I'm just going to copy it and uh, paste it in here and hit enter. 
So basically, what did command do? It actually installed their uh, Mongo uh, DB version 3.4, and it's done. So now we can go with the uh, number four. And paste it in here. And can I say yes? And that's it. Uh, it done. So now we're gonna start a unify service. Oops. All right. So unify started. So in order to access um. Unify uh, controller on the web uh, interface. What you're gonna do is uh, open up the new tab. HTTPS. And then, then uh, it's gonna be uh, local. Uh, the default port uh, for um, Unified Controller is going to be uh, port uh, A443 and uh, enter uh, oh I spell local wrong, there you go there you go and uh, just go to advanced and add uh, exception And here you go. You have a Unify uh, controller added on your um, Ubuntu 18.404 uh, uh, LTS lifetime support uh, versions. So if you want to run this set, uh, setup from another computer. The reason we're able to use a local host because we actually using the this on the computer that uh, have the unified controller on. But if you want to run it um, on the, not a computer, remote computer, uh, then you have to have the IP address. So we're gonna do the if config command to figure out um, what the IP address for um, this machine is. I just try to show you how to figure out the IP address. Obviously, I set a static IP address for this one, so I know. So this is the IP address for this machine, and uh, I'm just gonna open a new tab. So this is actually on my uh, window PC. It's not on the FreeNAS. So I'm gonna go HTTPS. Oops, I didn't copy, okay. 119.16a.1.4.2.0.1 And the uh, default uh, port is gonna be a uh, 443 Enter, and there you go. Go to advance again, and we'll see. There you go. So now this is a Unify uh, controller setup interface. Um, just normal uh, setup step. Just follow the 
it's really uh, self-explanatory but if you have uh, the backup you can actually restore it from a reviewed backup which is I do I gonna restore it right now mm, not sure where I put it in here. Oh, there it is. And uh, confirm. And it's gonna restore your uh, Unify uh, controller from the um, backup file. And all right, so it already uh, restored to uh, using my backup. Now I, uh, I can log in with my uh, username and password. The controller might have uh, restart since I just um, restored the uh, <coughs> since I just restored the um, configuration file. It probably restart. Let's see if I can uh, access this in my uh, virtual machine. Because I restored the the configuration that actually moved to um, the new controller, so that's why I got disconnected to uh, from my Wi-Fi. Should be able to log in right now. And there you go. So it actually automatically. Um, you see it's earlier that uh, I actually got disconnected because when I restore the backup configuration it automatically um, adopt uh, my Unify APAC um, Pro um, access point so that's the reason why I got disconnected yep it's got disconnected and it moved to this uh, controller and uh, that's it for uh, this tutorial guy and uh, like always leave a, if you have any question please in the comment and um, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like and I'll see you guys in the next video bye